Exercise 1.1, question number 5. I'll read out the question first. Mohan deposits 2000 in his bank account. You know bank account, that means in bank we have accounts where we can deposit our money. If, have, if we have 1000 rupees, we can go to bank and we can deposit in that money in the bank. So here Mohan deposits rupees 2000 in his bank account and withdraws. Withdraws means I can whenever if I want something, if I want, I'm needing of money, I can take some money from the bank. So Mohan withdraws 1642 from it the next day. So one day he deposited rupees 2000. The next day he went and withdraw 1642 from it. If withdrawal of amount from the account is represented by a negative number, then how will you represent the amount deposited? That means withdrawal of amount from the account is represented by a negative number. How will you represent the amount deposited? It will be positive number, right? Okay. Find the balance in Mohan's account after the withdrawal. That means after taking the money, how much money is left in Mohan's account? That's what the question is. Nothing is there. Deposit amount is 2000. Withdrawal amount is 1642. So what balance is left? Balance amount is 2000 minus 1642 subtract. What is the answer? Rupees 358. So, the balance in Mohan's account after withdrawal is rupees 358. So, that's it. It's an easy problem, right? Okay.